pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Now you are going on people, I want to continue the conversation that I had yesterday. Um, because yesterday, just take note, yesterday, um, I made a couple of mistakes yesterday in the post about the artist and the management and the uh, booking agent. Now make note of this. Managers get 20%. Some managers, most managers takes 20% off the top. And booking agencies, some take 15% and some take 10%. So correct that. Put that in, a, in a, your meds. See? But before we start talking this evening about that, before we start talking about that this evening, I want to big up my brother, my brother Cargo. I want to big up cargo. I want to big up that you with the cargo. Because here I go on now. You see, sometimes some people that give you respect, you have to show back respect to them. So I want to big up cargo. I want to big up that you with you. See? I want to big up that you with you. I don't want to call him, but he comes like him phone thing there. In phone, in phone, like in my chat on in phone. Yeah, man, I want to big up that youth here. Yeah. You see, sometimes some people doing music, you know, and sometimes it's just a brother they need to speak to. But you see, because in this music industry, we so all for ourselves and we take pride and we find joy. In tearing down each other. And I remember me saying, we, you know. So I don't want nobody to come tell me, say, boy, I talk bad about no artists. But at some point, you have to learn, you understand? That's why I embrace Christianity, you know, and embrace Christ's teaching. A lot of people come and talk about, oh, you are not Christian because you still do this, and you are not Christian because you still do that, and all of these things, and you still sing dance hall, so you are not Christian. And you still sing reggae music, so you are not Christian. And you still talk about Shabbat. So you are not Christian. But people need to understand something, you know. Christianity. The true definition of Christianity means follower of Christ. Now remember Judas followed Christ, you know. And Christ never run him. Judas, Christ knew that Judas was going to betray him. That is how great Christ's teaching is, you know. It's because some people get so... Emotional when, 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 when they think about how people use the name Jesus to oppress black people. And, you know, Sunday, I wanted to log on Sunday and Gospel Corner because I spoke about that. I'm going to speak about that, sorry, on Sunday. And I understand. I understand that. But I would love more people to just take a, a little time and check out the teaching from Christ. Because you see, followers of Christ, you, you learn humility. And you realize that you're supposed to take care of each other. And you're supposed to look out for each other. And you're supposed to be a brother's keeper. And this youth now, Cargo, I reach out to him. I send him a rhythm. And the brother sent me back a, an email. I may tell us I read the email. And I could have gone off again on him, you know. And I just approach him in a humble way, in a Christ like way. And I hear what I say. And I comprehend what I say. Because sometimes we just need a brother to speak to. Because this music business, are people, there are some people that is in this music business. They are vicious. They are vicious. Some people in this music business, if you don't strong, they will break you. They will mash you up. 
You have to understand that. But you have to also understand that. The people that are against you, they are against you because they want you to fail. Just think about that, you know. The people who are coming after you in whatever you're doing, whether you're in the workplace or you're in music or whatever, the people that keep coming after you and trying to drag you down, they are there to break you. So you have to decide if you're going to give these people the victory. Are you going to stay firm and let them see your eyes? But you have to understand these people don't care about your well-being. So if I know that somebody's deliberately trying to break me, why am I going to break? I'm working harder to stay strong. That's why me is a man so. We don't call it rugged. Me is a man firm. When they come at me, me stand up to them. I make them know that my feet are planted. You can't move me. No matter who you are, no matter who you be, me already just put my trust in a God and say, God is you alone, me fear. The only thing a man can do is take this body. A man can just take your body, but he can't take your soul. That's why you have to make your soul right with God. But you have to just understand that these people that are coming after you, they are trying to break you. So what are you going to do? Give them the victory? Not me. These people that are talking bad about you. These people that are talking all manner of things about you. They are not wishing no, no good. And here we can get trapped now. Because I have been there. When you start paying attention to them. When you start calling their names. You're giving them something. You know what you're doing? You're giving them free publicity. That is what they want. They are nobodies. Nobody don't know them. If you're putting them name on Facebook, it don't come up. Not even Facebook recognize them. So if Facebook don't recognize them, how oh, you are recognize them? Type in them name and say if it come up. Never come up. Not even Facebook know them. But you are giving them some form of promotion by calling their names. That is what they want. And then they start comparing themselves with you. Because now you went down to their level, how you got down to their level. So now them things say, yeah, Mr. Vegas called my name so me can equate. My whatever I am doing are myself to Mr. Vegas. And you hear them start talking about you flap, you're done, you're not hot, you're not ready, you wanna be, you want a long time you're done, and already yes. Because you called your name, your names. You bet you call somebody name. We are going to help your status. Don't go call a nobody name. And then these people start affecting you the way you think. And you start living to please them. You start doing things to please them. You start trying to win them over. How are you going to win somebody over who oh, these people are there to watch you fail? Their mission is to watch you fail. 
So how are you going to win them over? So why are you trying to win them over? That is what they want. So the key is, when you see the nobodies calling your name, ignore them. If them come by my page, me just tell them to face the thing and then block them. Nobody no see it. Because me still under construction. So me just tell them two things and me know say, yeah. Me get two in and me just block them after and delete me right. My style that. And if the comments them get too enough, me stop read them. So them I talk to ear. Them not talk to me. But some of us, we grabbing the phone and we're looking and I'm not, this was one of my biggest problems. You grab the phone and you read the comment them and you like, you trying to see what they're saying. If you don't see it, how it's going to hurt you. So when I spoke to my brother yesterday, I said, brother, do not live to please man. Do not live to please man. Get back to. Now sell out my friend them. Now sell out my friend one day they will do the same. And as a brother. It feel good for no so me can reason with a brother. Than let them vampire ya. Devour him. It feels good. So I can talk to a brother. I say, brother, you are way talented than enough artists out there. Do not stoop to the nobody's level. It's you sing now, sell out my friend. The world know you. Who know them? Not even, not even Facebook recognize them. And that is what this music business should be about. Looking out for each other. That is what it's supposed to be about. We're supposed to try to we're supposed to be trying to preserve the music. That is what we're supposed to be doing, you know. We're supposed to be trying to preserve this music. So more youths can come eat. More youth from in the ghetto can bust. Because if we mash it up, nobody now go want to do music. Everybody go want a gun. Figure rubber brings. So if we don't preserve the music, now you now go want to do music. The mago said mash up. The mago said too hard for boss because we don't look out for each other. Jamaica too small. This music industry are too small for us to live like this. So I just feel good for Nose, my brother, back on the right track. You're going to hear a lot about him because God knows. He's a blessed youth. I know God bless no man curse. All his member that. Stag. Yo, yo. All his member. Who God bless? Huh. Oh, Once you have life, just flash up on the lights. Uh, yeah. Flash up on the lights. Uh, lights. I uh, hear from your love life. Life. 